Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of our expert interview. We're very honored to be working with or speaking with Dr. Joe Weibel. Dr. Weibel, welcome back. Thank you, Dr. Buford. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. Pleasure's all mine. So we're having the, the, uh, the pleasure of speaking with Dr. Weibel today about her use of laser resurfacing for optimizing uh, the, the ultimate outcome of, uh, of burn scars as well as hypertrophic scars uh, uh, across the body. Tell me though, what inspired you to begin? Well, in 2004, I actually had a patient who was my inspiration. She uh, came into my office. I was I do a lot of laser, and she had sustained a third degree burn injury in about 70 percent of her body, which is almost all of it. And um, she had seen many doctors and had had the injuries for about seven years. She had been in a grease fire, and her family was actually in the room when she was cooking. And um, it's, a, it's a tough story to hear. She was cooking, and someone told her, if you have uh, the grease, that if you lift up the pan and boil the grease, and then the french fries will be crispier. And when she lifted up the pan, the grease went into the stove, and her house caught on fire almost instantly. Um, her husband, trying to put out the fire, as their three children were, were right there, picked up the pan on fire and, and went to throw it out the window. And this was a windy Ohio day, or out the door, I'm sorry. And when he opened the door, the the wind blew the fire in and he dropped the pan and it actually went all over his wife. She's now on fire and she rolls to the ground. The house is burning down around them. She finally gets the fire put out and then runs her family outside. They get outside and, you know, I think your house burns down within, you know, like seven minutes or so. And, and she is in the yard watching her house burn down. She's in so much pain, she runs into her home and goes to the bathroom to put water on her on herself and she looks in the mirror and says I'm gonna die I'm not gonna make it and she didn't want her children to know that that was the last minutes of her life so she went outside to tell her husband and children how much she loved them and subsequently um, passed out and was in a coma for about seven months and uh, and did survive and she's just an incredibly inspirational human being and she came into my office and, and we were crying during her consultation and she said, I want you to help me. And I said, well, you know, we're really not using laser on burn scars at that time, but our new laser, the fractional lasers had just come out. And I said, you know, I'll try, but I, I can't guarantee. And, you know, in the, in the old days when we lasered burn scars or in, before this, they actually got worse. But we actually did three treatments and, and she got about 90% improvement. So it was, you know, she was my inspiration. And then we published her report and did a study subsequently. And then since that time, I treat about 3,000 burn patients a year and other scar patients. And the fractional lasers have just really given new hope and another tool in addition to surgery and time. Um, it's it just, it's, it's one more tool we have now to help these patients. And that's an incredibly inspiring story. And what you've done obviously has made a huge impact. I, I think we were we were actually we were actually speaking before the interview, and I, I think that we both agree that uh, this type of uh, ability to affect such a positive change is the reason why many of us have gone into medicine. I mean, this is just it's incredible to be able to actually make this positive impact. So, saying that though, Jill, for our viewers though, how does this actually work? Because if you know you think about a laser, and a laser actually causes in many ways, a burn wound. So why in the world would you use a laser to treat a burn scar? Well, we have a lot of data on this now. And so what, what we've learned is that, especially the fractional ablative laser, which you have a lot of experience with, um, actually takes your damaged scar skin and it vaporizes the scar. So I usually tell patients it's like when you boil water for tea on your stove, it starts out as water, but then you see the steam coming out. And what we're doing with the scar is, and it doesn't matter if it's an acne scar, a surgical scar, a burn scar, we heat up the scar and we vaporize it. So we remove the scar damaged skin. And then these tiny little holes that we form in the skin, many thousands of them, heal in a normal way. So it's like out with the scar and over time we heal new skin in. So after a series of treatments, usually two to five, the skin texture and color returns to a more normal. Now we use the word better when we treat scars. Right now we can't make it perfect, but we can make it significantly better. 
And with every treatment, you continue to get improvement. So although I often only treat my patients two to five sessions, I have a handful that I've done 10 sessions, and they have almost 90% improvement. So it's really that fractional wound is, is a magical little wound. So going back to that, though, just I mean, a lot of our viewers will not understand when you when you mention fractional. What does it mean? What how's a fractional laser different from a, a non-fractional laser? Well, the word fraction it goes back to your days in, in elementary math. Is uh, we treat a portion of the skin. So like a fraction of a piece of pie. If you ate, if there's four pieces of pie and you only eat one, that would be one fourth or a fraction of the pie. When we use a laser, it creates holes in the skin, but we only if you have like a one centimeter area, we only treat a fraction of it, usually about 20% of the skin. The rest of the skin and around the laser beam is untreated. So there's an area of lasered skin and then an area of non-lasered skin. And we believe that one of the reasons this wound does so well is the healthy skin that surrounds it rapidly heals that wound. And there's very, uh, very minimal downtime, uh, very low complication rates. And um, I think overall physicians across the world have been very pleased with this technology, as you know, with, in your treatment. These devices were brought to market for wrinkles, but I honestly think they're even better on scars than wrinkles. They're excellent on wrinkles. The other thing I would add is, you know, you definitely have this incredible aesthetic improvement, mm -hmm. but there's a huge functional improvement. And a lot of what, and, and you've seen it too, you know, in range of motion of hands and wrists. Uh, you can see patients improve as that fibrotic tissue, that scarred tissue is decreased. They move better. The other thing that's, I think, quite amazing, and I, and I still don't completely understand it, is patients that have scars that burn or itch or are painful to them, usually one or two laser treatments and their symptoms resolve almost completely. So that's been, you know, some patients just come and say, it, it itches me or hurts and I can't sleep at night, and one or two laser treatments makes a huge impact. So where do you, we were talking again before this interview a little bit about some, some extensions that you're using, in other words, other applications uh, for the laser. We, you know, you've talked about the cosmetic end. Everyone always, you know, knows about treating uh, facial aging, skin laxity, and so forth. You talked a little bit about burns, which is obviously a new application. What else are we looking at uh, potentially treating with these lasers? Well, one of the big areas of research that, that I'm involved with, and I think we're going to see for the next 10 years with the fractional lasers, are using them as a delivery system. So these, these fractional lasers create these, these holes in the skin that really give you an access into the body. So we're doing some work at the University of Miami uh, putting stem cells, true stem cells from bone marrow down these, these channels. And what we found is that these stem cells can stay locally in the skin and, you know, potentially, you know, whether they grow collagen or grow new epidermis and new skin, but they also travel in the bloodstream. And, and we've, we're only working currently on animal models, but we've seen, um, you know, functional stem cells as far as, you know, we can grow hair and we can help with leukemia and we can do all sorts of things. Um, I, so I think these channels could, could change the way we do medicine. It's better than an IV. It's better than taking a pill. So I think we should stay tuned. I think it's going to get real exciting. What are, what are some good, uh, what are some scar, how do you evaluate a scar? What's a good scar for this? Two, age-wise, and three, identifying practitioners. So I guess all in, that, all in that order. All right. Well, you said some very important things. So number one, I would say that all scars really can improve with this technology. Uh, you can do burn scars, traumatic scars, surgical scars, acne scars, uh, pretty much any scar. And, and whenever I give a lecture, I say, who in this room has a scar? I, I truly think the largest market in laser, and it's completely untapped because the consumers, such as those that are that will hopefully listen to this interview, aren't aware that we can in, do these improvements. Um, so any scar patient's a candidate. Um, I used to say with the more severe scars for burn patients, we should wait about a year. And I always, always work in, in combination with the burn reconstructive surgeons and the, the acute burn surgeons to make sure that there's good communication. But with that being said, we're starting to find out that maybe sooner treatment's better. So I have a handful of patients that I've treated at three and six months, and they seem to be doing very well with the big burn injuries. Acne scar patients, I treat the second I see the acne scar. Uh, surgical scar patients, I think you can treat as early as two weeks to a month after surgery, and you really get improvement. So that would be number one. Number two, age. I think any age 
um, is, is a candidate. I do a lot of children. And children heal beautifully. So, you know, you have to work kind of with the anesthesia. Um, and I take a handful to the operating room. But um, most of the time, children tolerate this procedure very well with in-office anesthesia. So really, any patient with a scar can be treated. And the third one is probably the most important thing you brought up. Uh, I was, I'm was i here in, in Washington, D.C., uh, helping train the physicians at, at, uh, Wolfer, or at, yeah, or at Walter Reed, sorry, and um, we're helping with the wounded warriors that are coming back from Afghanistan. And the first thing when I was training them is, you know, that you, you need to be, in my opinion, a board-certified dermatologist, plastic surgeon, burn reconstructive surgeon, orthopedic surgeon, who understands scars and understand lasers. This is a very advanced technique. Um, unfortunately, I think there's probably only about 50 or so people, yourself included, in the United States um, that are actively, you know, really have the understanding, but we hope, you know, to be tripling these numbers and so forth. But you do not want to start out with a physician. You want to ask them how many uh, burn scars have you treated and um, and go from there. But there are, are, but in most cities in America, there's someone that you can access um, that has this this kind of experience. So I'd ask you also to uh, your work with an organization that actually you connected me to as well too, Angel Faces. Tell me tell me a little bit about that because I want to give a little plug out. I think this is a the, the short interaction that I or brief interaction I've had with them. Uh, these are amazing group of people working with an amazing group of, of, uh, of patients. Uh, tell everyone a little bit about what the organization is, what it does, as well as uh, how they can contact. Because I think, again, this is an incredible organization. Well, it's, you know, my heart when I talk about Angel Faces. Angel Faces is led by uh, Lisa Cartelli. And Lisa is an angel herself. But she's a burn survivor. She's actually one of my patients as well. And she openly talks about that that um, was burned as a young girl in a fire. And she's paying it forward to the world, and she has a retreat where she has uh, young women between the ages of nine and I, I think 18, but uh, we want to check that. And they come um, in the summer and spend a week. And her real mission is to help these burn survivors and these young women uh, identify that their in insides are more important and help them cope with how people approach them and ask them about their accidents and their injuries. You know, this has been some very uplifting information. I think uh, one, of the, one of the reasons, not to get sidetracked, but one of the reasons why uh, I and my co-founder, B, uh, Mark Winnitz, actually founded this, this website was uh, there, there's so much negative information on the web. There's so much uh, pessimistic uh, journalism that being able to deliver information like this about people like yourself, Dr. Weibel, and, uh, and the things that you're doing uh, is, let's face it, I mean, it's, it's a very, very positive thing. And it's made a huge, huge difference. How can people contact you? Um, well, the best, I'm just going to add one thing because I, I appreciate you actually taking the time today to point out this important work that's going on across the world. Uh, you know, I will say that for, for all of the viewers on your website, you know, when you think you're having a bad day, um, these burn patients, they, they lose their home, their parents, their husbands, their arms, their houses, and I'm so inspired by them because they show up with a smile on their face, and, you know, it's a real privilege to get to help these patients, and, and I think we can all learn from them. Um, but with that being said, you can reach me through um, our website, uh, miamidermlaser.org. Uh, Com or um, you can call my office, 305-279-6060. And again, we also have a, a, a list of referring doctors such as yourself that we know um, can treat these burn patients and these severe scar patients and make a great difference in their lives. As always, I'm honored to be able to, to uh, spend some time talking with you. And again, for everyone who turned, tuned into this, I hope you had a, a, a great few minutes learning some great information. Um, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Thank you.